Hello once again all you toy fanatics. Welcome back to El Chizza Reviews. Today, I am, well, giving you another Japanese toy. Uh, you may have noticed that the picture is upgraded a little bit. That's thanks to my high school, uh, which will not be named for security purposes. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Morphin Brace from Tokume Sentai Go Basta! Um, as you can see, we've got both the box and the device on stage, which is not something I normally do. Um, so today, just because I'm feeling happy, we're going to take a look at the box. Now, to start with, we've got the front. You've got a lovely picture of um, Buster Red, or Red Buster, depending on uh, how you pronounce it, in uh, looks like a CG image. Um, with the Morphin Brace right here in its active form. We've got the tab here, it's got Buster's red, blue, and yellow. And uh, it's kind of, if you have to eyeball it, but it does say it's time for Buster. And then we've got this little 80% blackout image here. Um, this looks like, I don't read, I don't know if this is Katagane or Hinegane, I don't read Japanese. Um, I think it says Buster Device Number One. I'm not sure. Um, we've got the logo here. Let's look at the side. There's Red Buster and Cheetah Nick. If you've watched the show, you'll know Cheetah Nick is one of the three Buddy Roids, and he has the unusual honor of being able to turn into a motorcycle. Rider machines eat your heart out. Um, then we have the. Well, let's look at the other side first. We've got the image. Um, He's displaying the Morphin Brace on his wrist, and we've got it again in its active form. Here's another logo. And then here's the back. I wish I could read Japanese. Anywho, um, I think this is displaying one of the modes that we will look at on the toy later. Um, it's describing about the whole turning dial system. If you watch the show, you should know what they're talking about. If not, um, the different modes of the toy are accessed by turning the dial one way or the other and pressing a button. Um, and here we've got the image of certain of the how the toy functions as, um, well, I guess, an aspect. And then the usual warnings and whatnot, choking hazards. This is where reading Japanese would really come in handy for me. However, nothing has happened, so we do not need to worry about that. Next, we have the toy itself. Now, I'm going to look at the paint apps real quick, which means we're going to have to get it in close to the camera eventually. Um, it's cast in black plastic with beautiful metallic blue. I love it when they take colors and just make them metallic. And for once, my camera will actually pick it up. Um, here in the same beautiful blue plastic, we've got the Go Buster symbol on a button. Um, the red switch here. The lenses of the toy, let me just open that up for you, are cast in orange translucent plastic. Um, not as big as they are on the show, but... Eh, it's a toy, you gotta make sacrifices, and this one doesn't make a lot, I'll tell you that much right now. Click that back into place. Other than the blue, you've got this beautiful silver that Bondi of Japan loves to use, and it's just all over this thing. And I absolutely love it. Paint is really important to me. Um, the wristband is made of rubber, so it actually fits my gigantic man at wrist, so we can actually play with this. Um, it doesn't really make a big deal of hiding the joints, mostly I think because they want to go for a realistic look, because this is a special, opera a special operation Sentai. That's what Tokume means. Um, if you were listening earlier, Tokume Sentai Go Busters. Remember it now, I'll put it in captions, just for now so you can read it out loud to yourself. This little screen here, this little sticker, um, is covered by a plastic lens so you don't have to worry about scratching it. It's a, kind of a soft rubbery plastic. Um, it's got, it's a sparkly sticker, as you can see. Um, and it does have numbers in there. Um, I 
can't be sure exactly what they're representing. Mostly it's probably just there for realism. Um, and when I look at this thing, and this was what really interested me, if you hold it like this and cover up the lenses, you get a stopwatch. You know, you get this right here, this little big start and stop button, little digital... We're gonna call them witchima jigs, for lack of a better word. Um, on the side, they are buttons, but I wouldn't know what they were for. They just seem to add to the look. Um, the hinge here, they really want to actually exaggerate that hinge, and, which normally they would try to hide. I love that. They're taking a whole new route with this, and it's working. There is molding underneath the lenses, so we're going to have to bring that up. More of that beautiful blue paint, um, and an orange, l an orange lens over... Uh, a red LED, which we will demonstrate right now. Let's turn it on. Here's the switch. There you see. Um, it is kind of bright, and it, it's almost hard to define it as red because it's being shown through two layers of orange plastic. And this dial here does have different modes, but we'll s and we'll finish with the morph. Okay. So let's start off with the one right off the bat. I should probably mention. Speaker is right here, and wait. Hmm. Speaker is right here. Does anyone else see a problem here? Speaker against. Ah, uh, well. Surprisingly, though, it does not affect the sound. And to prove it, um, because of the way it's angled. Obligatory shouting out of the name of the team. I'm glad my iPhone doesn't. Sh I'm glad iPhones don't shout their owners' names. I wish I had an iPhone. Um, now let's turn the dial clockwise. It doesn't matter which way you turn it. Just affects which mode it's in. Make sure it clicks into place. Otherwise, it gets lost. So that was call mode, if you watched the show, that was their specific ringtone that you'll only ever hear out of the Morphers. And apparently we were just talking to Usada Lettuce, one of the three buddy roids um, that accompany our Go Busters. Okay, let's turn it over here. So now we're driving Buster Machine CH01. Yeah, let's drive and gotta love your English, don't you? Now, oh, you know what? I should probably tell you something. As long as you're on let's driving mode. And it is randomized, but it's set to cycle through that random order. So this time we went Cheetah, Gorilla, Rabbit. Let's move on. Lock that in place because otherwise it's just no fun. I don't remember that ever being used in the show. Maybe they were planning to, I don't know. If they have, you leave a comment in the description. Leave a comment below uh, letting me know which episode it is which episodes, if you've got more than one, because I would love to go back and watch those. Let's turn it again. It's time for Buster. It's time for Buster, the finishing move programmed into all their devices. Now if I look at this, I can only imagine it's some kind of epic pounce, you know? It's, because it's strapped to the wrist. A Sentai Punch. Maybe a counterpart to the Rider Kick if you watch Kamen Rider. Okay. There's actually a game mode put into this, and it's actually like a Simon Says game. Let me give you a quick example.
This is gonna be a while. I believe it's saying something like, your Super Sentai soul is powerful. Now, if, that's because I got all of them right. If you get, like, one wrong, it'll say, good luck next time. And, uh, I believe if you get everything wrong, it'll say, your Super Sentai soul is weak. Try, ne try again uh, later. Which would be a throwback to, um, Gokai Silver's Mobirate, sir. I forget what it's called. I hate myself right now. Let's move on. Go Busters! And then we're back to the start of the cycle. Now, Morphing, or... Yes, it is called Morphin in this one, because there's so many different references to the American show, will reset the cycle. So let's just move to a random spot. And hit the button. Now, this is the angle you'll be seeing it from if you're playing with it properly, but it also has that little thing going off. To end this, you hit the button again. Let's morph it. Just fold those up and go back down. You hit the button again. Go Busters! And that's it. It's started over. Turning that off. Spinning this back to its appropriate spot. Now, I got this for around $20 off of Amazon.com. And I would say for the price I paid, it was worth it. I don't know if you can find it on other sites. I haven't looked. But I will tell you this much. You will get every penny's worth out of this toy. I and I would severely recommend it to those of you who watched Super Sentai last year, and even for those of you who are just into Power Rangers, because there are so many references um, to Power Rangers in the show and in the toy itself. So, if you've got this, if you've got the time, go pick up, go pick one of these up yourself. You won't regret it. Hmm. That's funny. I leave my webcam on. Who are you? Are you some kind of a hacker? Because I don't have time. For hackers, how did you get my frequency? Whoa, 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 whoa! You jump on my computer. Tell me there is a threat to the earth, and that I am one of the few that can stop it. And you expect me to just accept that? Eh, reason enough for me. What do I gotta do? Whoa! What did you do to it? Hmm. If you say so. Red. Wait a minute. What's going on here? Wait, wait. Did you say Otaku Sentai Reviewer? So I'm a red senshi. Wait. wait. So where's the helmet? Where's where's the cool suit? <laughs> Sounds like a cheap plot excuse. 
do I do I at least get a buddy roid? You know, I am using the Go Busters morph embrace here to transform. Really? Awesome, where is he? What's this crap? Oh no. You didn't. And he can't even transform on his own? You're telling me that my buddy Roid is a piece of crap transformer knockoff from a dollar store that you somehow uploaded artificial intelligence into? What's your deal? What? So, no sound effect? Nothing? Hold on a second. So, Mr. XD, you're telling me you had enough of a budget to create a program that gives me weapons and powers of that of a red senshi, but not enough budget to create a decent suit, good-looking tools, and a working buddy roid? What is it with you? Well, if I'm Otaka Red, that means there's gotta be others, right? Who else to just suck her into this?